Saturday night was such an unforgettable night. And no, not for the reasons that most people enjoy Saturday night. You know what? Why don't I just tell you about it? My uncle once asked me if I thought that people these days were generally more merciful than they used to be in the past. So I said, yeah, I guess so. He said, let me tell you what the prophet of mercy was like 1,400 years ago. There are many stories and sayings that reflect the unprecedented mercy of the prophet, peace be upon him. And it wasn't even limited to the human race. A woman will enter hellfire, he said, because she imprisoned a cat without feeding it or even allowing it to fetch its own food, which eventually resulted in his death. Whereas another woman will go to paradise because she used her shoe to fetch water from a well for a thirsty dog. The prophet commanded that no animal be tortured or overburdened while assuring us that no act of kindness towards them would go unrewarded in the hereafter. If even animals are to be shown this mercy, then what about humanity? So I asked him, what are you doing Saturday night? The Prophet's mercy was boundless, and no soul felt neglected by it. He especially showed love to the orphans who were deprived of the mercy of a parent, because he knew exactly what that felt like. Even on the day of Eid, when he saw a lonely orphan, he didn't hesitate to say, How would you like that Muhammad be your father, Aisha your mother, and Fatima your sister? As for us, I and the guardian of the orphan are like these two fingers in paradise. In today's world, blue-collar workers tend to be highly exploited. They're paid very little, yet reprimanded harshly. No regard is shown for their age or dignity. Whereas if you read about the Prophet, peace be upon him, you find that even those that were sent to him to serve him as children were in awe of his mercy. Anas ibn Malik, who was sent by his mother, said, I served the Prophet, peace be upon him, for seven years, and I don't remember him ever reprimanding me or saying, why did you do this, or why didn't you do this? and I've never seen a man with a higher standard of character. He demanded that even the lowest members of society be treated with honor, and in fact, didn't allow them to be cruel to themselves. As Zahir says, when I belittled myself by saying, even if I was a slave, no one would want me, the Prophet smiled at me and said, but you are priceless in the sight of God. So I asked him, what are you doing Saturday night? From the mercy that Anas said he witnessed from the Prophet, was his mercy to a poor man who came and pulled the Prophet's garment so violently that he was suffocating him and left marks on his neck demanding, give me from what Allah gave you. So the Prophet smiled and gave him the garment and more. So if this is how he was with a man with bad manners, then what about the one who sits quietly waiting for help or asks politely? So I asked him, what are you doing Saturday night? So about Saturday night, you know, Saturday night's a pretty cool night for young people. Some go out to the movies, some go out to eat, some just hang out with friends, some do some not so halal things. But for me, I decided that this Saturday night would be different. My neighbor called me and told me that he was going out to eat with some friends from work, and it would be great if I could join, but I respectfully declined saying I already made plans. It was a magical night for them, and for me as well. We talked about our families, told jokes to each other, talked a little sports, and just had a blast. I actually really enjoyed dinner and the company even more, and was reminded of the Prophet's words when he said, the worst food is the food served at a gathering to which the rich are invited, whereas the poor are left out. Typically, we're nice to people who can benefit us in some way. That's what makes the Prophet, peace be upon him, so amazing. He loved and cared for even the most downtrodden members of society and encouraged us to do so as well. No human, Muslim, non-Muslim, no creature that ever encountered you was deprived of your mercy. It didn't matter if they were weak or poor or looked down upon by others. You would smile at them and give them reason to smile as well. Rasulullah, the example which you left behind is of the greatest mercies. Ya Rahman, do not deprive us of Rahman and raise us with the one whom you sent as a Rahman.